Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. It is me, Duke CT, back with you once again for some raw thoughts. And man, this show is pretty big as we have a raw tag team championship match and a WE championship match. So let's get into it. First up, we have Drew McIntyre opening the show, addressing the huge big main event of him taking on Randy Orton for the WWE Championship, and then he looks for Survivor Series and, time, and taking out Ran, Roman Reigns. As he says, he says, oh, he puts himself on the pedestal at the head of the table, but he wants to knock the, uh, knock him off a peg. We're saying he's the best of the best in such Survivor Series, best of the best after all. Then Randy Orton appears with Titan Tron saying, well, yeah, he talked about him getting fined um, by attacking uh, Adam Pearce, saying, you know why? That he um, is like, I've been fined, suspended so many times. But you know why I'm here? You know how I can just, like, you know, not be phased? Because he is great. He is too good. He is, yeah, he is the best of the best. And that's why he's the W champion. But Drew McIntyre says, that's only till tonight until he faces him. And then The Miz and John Morrison come out and do, and do some good stick. But it says he explained that, you know, he talks crap about Bray Wyatt, saying that he's afraid, Bray Wyatt's afraid of the Miz, and then saying, at the end of the day, he, with the money in the break, briefcase is the one that he will be the one making the impact, regardless of who wins in the main event. And Brackner says, well, he says, you know, you talk all this stuff, but you know the difference between me and Randy? Randy's a patient man. I'll, he'll fight like like you know. Well, he's, they backed off. Say, oh, well, well, wait until, you know, we'll fight later on, because we got uh, things to do. So, you know, Miz and Morrison make a hasty retreat, which you know, it does seem like remind you of the uh, like previous weeks. But again, it does. I do like the way it makes everything. The top contenders of the WWE Championship. We got Randy Orton, Drew McIntyre, Fiend, and Miz. All, you know, all vying for that championship. It makes it feel like um, everything, like it's like the champion is going to have to have a bunch of targets on his back. And not to mention the people who, you know, in the Survivor Series. Um, after that thing over, how many more people are going to be like, you know what? I'm looking to see, looking to make their presence felt in the WWE uh, title picture as well. Next up, we have Asuka, Mandy Rose, and Dana Brooke taking on Sonya Baszler, Nia Jax, and Lana. <laughs> oh, gosh. And the reason why this is um, done is because Lana put this match together. This is like, the reason why, because, hey, I saw the, the, the main event last week of Randy Orton and uh, Miz and Morrison teaming up, taking on Drew McIntyre and uh, New Day. That she thought that was a brilliant idea to copy, even though um, Miz and Morrison got the raw end of that deal, as Randy Orton just skedaddled. <laughs> and honestly, this match felt like it was like a handicap match because Nia Jax and Sonya Baszler, for the most part, did all the uh, hard work. As in fact, they have Mandy Rose come in, and they did the uh, you know the elbow stomp, Sean Bay's elbow stomp on the steel steps, and boom, takes out Mandy Rose for the Survivor Series team. And then after you know Jackson Baszler completely tugging down Oscar, in fact, um, Baszler had to choke on her. She was choking her out. Lana tags herself in, and thinking that maybe she could take down the Empress of Tomorrow, but no. Uh, she kicked out of the pen and then put her in the Oscar lock and made her tap out. And then after that, you know, Nia Jax thought, like, you know, she gave, like, I respect you, Lana. But nope, she grabbed Lana and put her through a table for a knife time. And it gets even better. Backstage, Reckoning from Retribution attacked Brooke as she was trying to explain the extent of injuries Rose has suffered at the hands of Baszler and Jax. So, yeah. Good job, Lana. That That's... 
just why are they doing this? I I I don't feel any sympathy towards Lana because she put herself in this position. She she continues to be a thorn in, on everybody's side. Why should I cheer for her? I in fact she cost. Rose and Brooke, the women's championship a couple weeks ago. I'm like, why is everyone going to be a friend of mine? In fact, when they had like, um, uh, commentators, like, uh, she, she gets in everybody's way. I'm like, exactly. Why is this, why is Lana is so important? I think at this point, what is Lana going to really bring to anything at this point? She just looks as a loser, <laughs> a complete and total loser. And I don't know how they're going to get out of this situation. I don't know how you can make Lana into something interesting after that. Next up is the Raw Tag Team Championship match as the boy, your boys, the New Day, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, take on Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin. But before that, we got MVP on the mic saying that Hurt Business is going to need to represent Raw as the group was the best of the best. Shelton Benjamin's promised that he and Cedric will win, defeat the Street Profits of Survivor Series, as Bobby Lashley will take out Sami Zayn. And then Kirk, Kofi Kingston, Zay Woods come out and, you know, have their little, sh you know, their shtick. And then saying the Hurt Business is the jerk business. Ha. But, you know what? I don't care. The match goes on uh, goes and, you know, it starts, and man, this match was really good. I am continually impressed by Cedric Alexander and Selma Benjamin's chemistry as a tag team. And shout out to Selma Benjamin, because he really is one of the best uh, tag team specialists out there. He needs some love, too, you know. Dude is, like, honestly, uh, one of the consistent uh, performers in WE, or, or whatever he signed, or whatever. He's been consistently good. And, man... Um, as for Cedric, he does he does some good stuff here, but I'm like, why is he doing these dives? And he completely whiffed. I'm like, you're a heel. Why are you a villain doing all this cool stuff? What you, the hurt business should be is just pound, you know, ground pounding, beating the crap out of people. That's what they should be doing. And let the 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 uh, baby face team, the good guys, take all the high risk and build the crowd up. It's it's simple. Here it's just, you know, muddies the waters. But then again, you know, her business was face one week, heel one next, heel, face heel, face heel. They don't know what they are at this point. But what they are are very talented. And also Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, really, they're talented as well. And this was a really good tag team match. Uh, as I really did um, love the... Uh, uh, the uh, tag moves, especially you had, um, you know, the kick from like one tag move. You had the kick with Xavier, take, you know, take down, um, you know, some Benjamin them do some moves, and then it ended with a um, brain buster, which was really good stuff. Um, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kings and good stuff as well, and uh, his setting up the daybreak for them to pick up the victory, just really good stuff. I'm surprised they didn't let the Hurt Business win here. But that's just me. I thought they should have won. But I'm not really mad. Because, hey, you give um, Kofi Kingston, Woods, uh, give a kick-ass match to Sweet Profits. And then afterwards, you have the Hurt Business win at TLC. And um, and you go from there. That's just That would be just me. But, yeah. Next up, you had... Uh, Jeff Hardy and um, Elias segment as he's like, hey, these these are uh, flyers, and he did not like these flyers. You know, going over the whole incident of uh, Jeff Hardy running over Elias. He said, I didn't do this. And he grabbed, you know, pushed Elias down and even grabbed his beard, saying, if you keep accusing me for something I didn't do, then I won't be held responsible. I feel guilty about what I will do. So this thing is continuing on. I'm betting it's just retribution. I mean, at this point, why not? Then, later on in the segment, you had AJ Styles trying to get Team Raw to 
Captain AJ Styles trying to do, trying to really get the team to come together. Trying to do that. Trying really hard. But, well, it didn't work. They give overall t-shirts, but no one was interested. They, they took the t-shirts and no one cared. And we found out this bodyguard, you know, can talk. And he's like, you can speak English? Why didn't you, you tell me you can speak English? Like, you never asked. Anyway, it's Team Raw versus uh, Retribution, an eight-man tag. And this was... Uh, this was a, a match. Um, the only interesting stuff here was AJ Styles on commentary and the dysfunction on Team Raw. Retribution was just there. And, yeah, bless their hearts, Retribution. They try, but I just can't see them other than just these losers who just can't win big matches. And I, I don't know. They just, they just feel, everything just feels awkward with them. Yeah, the, when they entrance is awkward, when they zoom in and out, when they wrestle is awkward, everything is just awkward with retribution. But at the end of the day, they pick it to win as Mustafa Ali rolls up Riddle after he gets knocked into the monster among men to take the uh, take the victory. So two oh they're 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 two and oh. Retribution is, is they're on the winning ways. <sighs> But honestly, in retribution, I just don't, I don't care for retribution at all. Like they had a promo, and I'm like, I still don't care. I don't care about this group whatsoever. But something I do care about is Bray Wyatt versus Miz. In fact, Bray Wyatt had a five Bray Funhouse, you know, talking like, you know, hey, you talk about stuff, but you know what? We should have a match tonight. And they had a segment of him, you know, like saying, oh, we have to prepare for Miz, you know. Kind of blindfolded and he just knocks down like the puppets. Then he has like a, a words like spell that I say, you know, um, <laughs> um, you know, Alexa Bliss says like, well, like spell jackass, and he's like, jackass, M I Z, and it's like, correct, Miz, Miz is a jackass, funny, uh, but yeah, um, but Nikki Cross didn't see that funny because she's trying to look for. Uh, Alexa Bliss is saying, hey, you know, yo, sh this is not you, um, you know, Alexa, the Fiend's doing this to you, and trying to get her back into, um, back into the, you know, back to her old self. I do like the Alexa Bliss, like, distorted, like, you know, theme now, since she's being corrupted by the Fiend, uh, and uh, Bray Wyatt, and then you have Miz, you know, you know, later on, you know, Miz, reason why Alexis came out was because Miz tried to type, okay, we don't, yeah, we know our history and such, but I'm ready to move on, and you can help us by taking out Randy Orton, you want to take out Randy Orton, I want to, you know, take him out, and we can put him to champion, you know, I can win, we'll both win, and then Alexis comes out and says, we don't want to match, like, yeah, so you want the, the match, it's like, I talked to him, he's like, no, like see, the, he says no. He doesn't want the deal, and then the cross comes saying, "Please, this is not you." Like, but Alexa, she's shaking her. He says, "Oh my gosh, you're right." Okay, I'm back, and then bam, slaps and starts attacking, um, Nikki Cross. But Nikki Cross comes back and she starts attacking her, and then you have referees and everyone seven apart, and then you have the mid. I mean, uh, no, Wyatt come comes in. You know why it looks like straight, like this, this, this all oh, this like anger with um, um, Nikki Cross, and then looks at complete joy with um, Alexa Bliss, and we get into the match, and this was pretty much um, a long for squash match. As Miz, you really didn't think Miz had a shot. He got some hold spots, but and um. And John Morrison, you know, doing his best to um, to interfere. But it wasn't enough as you had uh, Bliss just launching herself um, at John Morrison, taking him out. And then you have Miz you know, getting hit with Sister Abigail for the one, two, three. And then you have Bliss come rise up after the uh, 
barrier and everything, and then she walks on it, you know, and then uh, you know, walks on the barrier and jumps down with uh, Wide and Bliss just and held her hands and with they they dance and joy all the way up to the ra the ramp, and then the fiend appears. It looked like in there's something more to this story, which is very interesting. <laughs> Next, you have Angel Gaza cut a promo, you know, talking about the beautiful woman of the world and really introducing this character. It's like a reintroduction of his character, which honestly, I wish they could have done this when he debuted, but that's WE for you, you know. Here's hoping that he can be more of, you know, there's more connection to Angel, Ga Angel Gaza um, in the future. Then you have Oscar promise he will defeat Sasha Banks for Raw at Survivor Series. And also during this, um, you know, pro uh, this stuff, you had, um, uh, so, uh, you have, <laughs> um, you know, uh, you know, the announcement was Peyton Royce and... You have uh, Peyton Royce and uh, Lacey Evans replacing uh, Brooke and Rose uh, for the Raw women's team, which is I wouldn't be surprised if they get swept because they just ever, and, and Lana's going to do something stupid. So yeah, that's what's going to happen on uh, Survivor Series if I make my prediction. <laughs> All right. Um, next is now it's time for our main event. Before the match and before the, you know, during the middle of the show, you got Sheamus giving Drew McIntyre um, a, 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 a crate or, no, slash chest. And he, Sheamus, uh, you know, Drew McIntyre opens up and he's like, oh, he's like, oh, I can't believe I lost it. Uh, a kilt, gave McIntyre a kilt and a sword, the Claymore. To remember, um, his Scottish roots and such. But then, honestly, that was a kick-ass. And by the way, that, that stuff gets in play into the opening. Drew McIntyre waits for the uh, entrance, and then he comes out with his kilt and the claymore, and he stabs it in and just pyro and everything, which is amazing. And I love that. And I hate the fact there was no crowd to do this. I really, this, again, I really hate the Rona. <laughs> I do. I really do. <sighs> but it was a cool entrance. Anyway, Randy Orton versus Drew McIntyre. And the match starts off, some good stuff, but Randy Orton wasn't having it, and he just walks out of the match early. And then Adam Pearce announced this match would be have a winner, as there'll be no more countouts or disqualifications. And this came, you know, this actually helped Orton because he had just, you know, taken down McIntyre, still chair, still steps. Um, and, and Drew just tried to do anything. Heck, he missed the Claymore not once, but twice after he um, hit um, Randy Orton with not one but two uh, back uh, suplexes on uh, the, the announce table, which still didn't break. In fact, it didn't break when um, Drew McIntyre got his, uh, you know, he fell, and I'm like, you know, you know missed the Claymore, and he, and he got in his back, just fell right onto the uh, announce table. But, yeah, this was a really good match. Good no disqualification. And it, and both sides have good chemistry. The action was on point. The pacing was really good. And you uh, you had the uh, McIntyre almost, you know, had it hit on with a backslide. Then he followed up with a Future Shock DDT. And that was, you know, not enough. McIntyre knocked Orton uh, off the able to do a table. And it looks like it was going to be over. It looks like he's finally going to win as he tried to hit a Claymore, and then he missed it. Uh, but, you know, he couldn't hit the Claymore as Randy Orton hit a nice power slam, as he always does that rotating power slam. And then hit the, just hit a, his uh, draping DDT off the announce table. And then, um, and then he did one in the ring. But then, at the end of the day, he couldn't hit that uh, RKO. But, nope. Um... <laughs> Drew McIntyre hit that Claymore the fourth the fourth time was the charm as he hits it and becomes the new WWE Champion. And this 
well, it was a really good way to end the show. And I thought there was going to be like a swerve. I thought, I thought uh, Roman's going to come in and cost him the, the match or Miss was going to come out. Something. But no, they, they did this huge match on Raw and Randy lost. And I'm like, and I sit down and I'm like, wait, if they were going to do this, why not have Drew just retain the belt at Hell in a Cell? I don't know, but but we did get this uh, very fun uh, no disqualification match. Both men deserve uh, a round of applause for that. Good stuff, and uh, <laughs> I can't wait to see what next thing is. I think a TLC match for Randy Orton, and I think that would be the end of the feud, and maybe lead into the Fiend versus Orton or Fiend versus Drew McIntyre. Um. Uh, Next year, maybe at WrestleMania, who knows? But overall, I think this Raw was a lot better than last week, and it was a pretty good go home show. Um, for I think you know, if the storylines and stuff leading to Survivor Series, very good. You know, I think there's some good matches, and as a go home show, I think there are stuff leading towards it. You got the Raw women's match, um, we don't know what's gonna happen with Lana, hopefully, something decent. Um, then you have um, Team Raw and its uh, shenanigans. They seem to can't get um, together on the, on the same page. And, and uh, Drew McIntyre versus uh, Roman Reigns. Yeah, that, that stuff. Even though they finally stopped pushing that feud last week on Friday Night SmackDown. But, hey, that's it is what it is. And uh, we'll be, hopefully... Uh, this uh, string of Rawls, which were, you know, decent, you know. But, uh, I just wish there were like an hour, two hours, no, two hours. Two hour Raw and such. I think it would have been a lot better. Because honestly, three hours is still a bit of a drain. <laughs> that's just, you know, that's just automatically going to be a drain. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. This is Duke CT here. Peace and love. I'll see y'all when I see y'all later.